I've always had something of a conflicted relationship with animals because I have terrible allergies. Um, and uh, I've actually had to get to the point in my life now where I can't have a cat anymore because it's really, you know, it's either the cat or I go to the emergency room, which is just, I can't even go in the tiger house at the zoo because I get, I get like, like scary sick, which is so depressing. I need somebody to really fix the whole allergy thing. Um, but despite those allergies, I just have always loved animals. They've, they've just been a part of my life. I have a German Shepherd now, um, who's not the brightest German Shepherd in the world, but we do love her a lot. And she, um, I had a German Shepherd when my kids were growing up. They've just always, it's funny because people say, oh, talk to me about your pets, and I have to think for a moment, do I have, do I have pets? Because they don't feel like pets. They really are, it's a cliche, but it's a really accurate cliche. That's a part of my family. I was kind of surprised when I wound up, um, as a teenager, I was a foreign exchange student, and I went to Denmark. And I did not anticipate that I would be sent to a farm, much less a pig farm. Um, this is the late 70s, and when I left the America, I was a very earnest, you know, sandal-wearing, granola-eating, tree-hugging type girl. Then I landed on a pig farm, of all places, um, and, and worked on the pig farm, did chores, worked in the fields and uh, got, got a good eye-opening into what farmers do for a living um, and what real work is. I mean, nobody can ever whine to me that, um, like my French authors, that what we work, do is hard because it's not. We're sitting inside in comfort making stuff up. I mean, how hard is that? If you want hard, go and shovel out a pig barn. That's work. And um, so I had this wonderful experience in Denmark. Um, uh, we, had, we had geese, we had ducks. We slaughtered the geese and ducks at Christmas time to make money for the farm. That was an interesting day. And, um, and I, I think what I didn't anticipate I would come away with from Denmark was a real fondness for bacon <laughs> and, and the inability to become a vegetarian. <laughs> and pork chops, I do love pork chops too.